metals. Did it bearish for the day? We have seen earlier in our Asia and Europe session discussion that 2370 should be a good support and below that 2365 levels. It has gone close to 2365 and bounced back. Likewise, silver is also reversed from close to 2775 zone. Now, what to expect today? The data coming in, the GDP data from US might bring little volatility and the US session will add on to it. How to profit trading gold and silver? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. This is the second update for the day. The subscribe and press the bell icon. Do like, share and comment. Join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Let's start first to look into gold followed with silver. First, look at the hourly chart. See, prices have consolidated enough. It is giving a breakout. I will wait for the next candle here. See, only bullishness today in gold is if you see trading above uh, 2400 levels. That is a great milestone for it to break past by. In fact, uh, you can buy here at 2394 itself, but then 23, 2400 is the level it needs to break. Now, see, first bullish candle, there is a possibility of a second bullish candle where the prices might try to move towards 2390 levels. Here. 2388, 90 first resistance, 2394, 96 the second and 2400 the third resistance here. Stock ISIC rising, MACD has traded enough bearish, it is trying to converge. Let's see if it gives a crossover. It requires one or two bullish candles for it to cross over. The RSI coming out of the oversold zone, coming to two hours. Look at two hour charts, similar observation here after a bit of consolidation, first bullish candle. And there is a probability that it can deliver a second bullish candle. Now see what has happened here after the drop retracement, after the drop it could retrace. Now this is a retracement channel. Uh, again, it is only bullish if you see it is staying about 2400 levels, uh, which may bring the prices little up if it stays about 2400. The stock is rising, the MACD is bearish still, the RSI is coming out of the overbought, oversold zone, coming to three. The observation is more or less same on the 3 HRC, lower highs, lower lows, preceding candle can be treated as a breakout here and also the divergence of the price from the moving average calls for it to converge, thus it appears that gold might try to retrace a little. How high see? Yes, you can buy here at 23.84 but then again, uh, 84, 86 first resistance, 90 the second, 94, 96 the third and 2400 the fourth resistance. Only about 2400 we can say, we can confirm that the bulls are back in action and the gold prices are willing to soar high here. Else it is still not to be treated bullish, it can reverse again. See what has happened, drop, retracement drop and it could retrace. Where are the highs here? The highs are somewhere here at around 2410, 2420. Stock ISIC rising, the MACD is bearish, the RSI is uh, just coming out of the oversold zone. Coming to 4 on the 4 hour chart, similar is the observation. See, preceding candle is a swing candle. Now, when I say swing candle, higher highs, lower lows are seen. Where are the highs of this? Somewhere here at around 23.86. Thus, you have to be watchful here. And on the downside, where are the lows here? To us, 23.60.65 zone. So, this complete zone between 23.60 and 90, let me take it as this $30 zone is going to remain critical for gold for the day. In between this zone, we have to watch out more with cost. Stock ISTIC oversold, the MACD is trading bearish here and see it is looking downwards, it has still got lot much of bearishness, RSI running flat here, coming to daily. Now see on the daily charts, we, you must note that preceding three candles are of retracement, it has given a breakout today, it is taking the support from the 50 period moving average, it, it has potential to move towards the simple moving average, uh, 2800 period, which are sitting at around close to 2350-55 zone. Now if you see gold trading below 2365, then you can say more bearishness will be seen here, where the prices may drop towards 2355-50 zone as well. And below that, a sharper correction may prevail if it draws any point of time. If you see gold trading below 2350, you can consider that the bears will take over completely here. Stock ISTIC oversold. Look at MACD crossed over at the top trading with divergence. This suggests that the candle is anyways going to remain red and the stock ISTIC has dropped. So thus, uh, see as long as 2400 is not taken, chances for reversal, chances for drop will be very well. Now before I give you the trading levels, if you want to learn this art of trading, join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals, be a part of my signals channel on Telegram. Connect with me over Telegram or email for your queries related to the services. Join the free Telegram channel for live updates and those who had asked me to recommend a broker which can offer you a self free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges. You can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description. Now considering this, again the levels on the upside remain same, 23.84 should be a good buying entry but again if you are buying at 23.84, remember this fact, 23.84.86 is the first resistance zone, then 23.90 the second and then 23.94.96 the third, ultimate is 2400. Only and only if you see gold trading about 2400, 2402, you can say that it is reversing, else right now it is trading in a bearish territory and it can drop again from 
uh, hitting the highs if at all it tries to rise on the downside i will recommend a selling entry now at uh, 2370 levels which is indeed proving out to be a greater support in fact you can take a sell at 2372 itself but then 2368 71st support zone 2360 62.5 the second and below that 2355 2350 levels will be seen below 2350 we can expect sharp strong bearish move there which can take the prices further down towards 2330 and 2320 levels as well take your positions accordingly let's have a look at this silver if you look at it has to give a breakout here it has to rise about 28 28 10 zone which will confirm its move towards 28 40 50 zone there is a probability that it can continue to move towards the zone see the preceding few candles we can see it is almost traded flat and also if you look at these two drops it suggests 2780 levels are proving out to be a greater support thus only selling entries below 2780 as long as silver supports 2780 we should not be taking a selling position here now see it is consolidating it can retrace how high uh, 28 20 28 40 might get achieved once you see the price is staying about 28 10 when you see the lower price about 28 10 take a buying entry the stochastic retracing the MACD is on the verge of a crossover it is not yet crossed over rsi is still trading over on the two hour charts likewise on the two hour charts see you can see preceding three candles lower highs lower lows and also specifically the preceding candle comes with a bigger tail and the current candle is starting to move downwards so once it breaks below 2780 we can look forward to further fall towards 2760 2740 and in fact 27 dollar levels possibility is there that it can continue to trade bearish if it stays below 2760 levels the stochastic rising the MACD is bearish the rsi is oversold so yes it is trading oversold coming to three hours on the 3 hour charts, the observation is more or less same. See, preceding two candles are of consolidation, higher lows, lower highs are seen, and prices are still trading in range. We have to wait for a breakout, and that also confirms that once the price stays above 2810, there can be a little move up move which can be seen here, which can take it towards 2840.50 or in fact 2875.80 uh, as well. If it continues to break on the upside, there can be stronger momentum. But uh, right now, it is not suggestive of right now i can see the bulls are not very much interested stochastic oversold macd bearish rsi oversold so yes it is trading oversold on the indicators as well coming to four hour charts on the four hour charts remember now this could be a, re a, re a reversal sign as well and this could be a continuation sign as well so if you see it is staying below 2780 again we can say that it is going to continue to deliver similar size of candle where 27 uh, 60 should be the first target zone and below that in fact 2740 or 27 dollar levels cannot be denied here yes it is trying to consolidate see what has happened here preceding drop we have seen it retracing towards 20 period now this can also retrace towards 20 period moving average which is sitting right now at 25 28 80 29 dollar levels the stochastic oversold macd bearish rsi oversold Coming to daily charts, if you look at the daily charts closely, you will find that it has given a breakout after a bit of consolidation and it is continuing on the downside. Now also if you look at the downside, support levels here are strong at 27, uh, $28 levels first and below that we are looking at $27.60, $27 levels at the next milestone. Yes, if it continues to permit, $27 levels cannot be denied here. Yes, it can continue to drop till towards this zone, but I expect even if it has to drop, there could be a little retracement on the upside how high 28 20 28 40 zone is something you should watch out for only about 28 40 is where the bulls will be active stochastic oversold macd bearish rsi looking downward so consider i will recommend a buy if you see silver staying above 28 10 you can initiate a buying entry expect it to move towards 28 30 28 40 at the first target 28 55 60 as the second and then uh, higher levels can be seen but i still doubt possibility of a reversal exists from those levels as it is still got lot much of bearishness only bullishness today in silver is about 29 dollar levels which appears to be a distant milestone for the day on the downside i will recommend a selling entry now at 27 80 levels which will lead to a greater fall if it stays below 27.8 and on the downside of selling entries now i will recommend is it 27.70 where you can expect it to move towards 27.50 27.40 the first support levels then 27.20 and 27 dollar levels can also be expected here take your positions accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my signals channel reach out to me for your queries related to the services join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support them thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead and yes, the data may bring a volatility, thus strictly trade with the trailing stop loss and strictly trade with the stop loss at cost. Take your positions accordingly. Do watch the next update tomorrow with the Asia and Europe session. Thus subscribe and press the bell icon or join the free telegram channel for live updates. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead.
see you again tomorrow with the Asia and Europe session with more live updates. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day again.